You guys ready? Clear, clear for takeoff. Don't you think you slammed in a departing runway 3 and 35? Trade procedures and use two helicopters. All right, guys, just a short taxi out and then. Uh, of the airport. We'll be on our way. Runway 35. Prefer landing runway for all jet multi engine aircraft. Advise on initial contact to have hotel. Ground here, man. 721 off the direction with hotel. Okay, then 721 off the ground attack to runway 3 via Alpha, stay direct flight. 3 via Alpha and I'm going Carter's point. Roger. Okay. Alright guys, welcome to the flight here. Uh, should be quite a nice day. The winds are real light today. Uh, we're going to see the Garden Island. Up to the right side, you can see the Kauai Lagoons Golf Course. It was designed by Jack Nicholas in the 1980s. It's part of the Marriott property. You can see that pink hotel on the right side is the Marriott. And it sits on Kalapaki Beach. Beautiful beach here in Lahui. And you can see Nawili Willy Harbor. This is the principal port for the island. Up the right side is the Hulihia River. That's the Manahune Fish Pond. Now, the rectangular fish pond on the right side of the river it was built by the early Hawaiians. miles by 25 miles across. In terms of size, it's the fourth largest island. We're smaller than the Big Island, Maui, and Oahu. We have 113 miles of coastline. A lot of that coastline is real beautiful sandy beaches. All of the coastline in the Hawaiian Islands is public property under state law. These beaches here are accessible by boat. Now we're over the south side of the island. Off to the right is Poipu. That's a beautiful area on the southern tip of the island. It has a lot of marvelous sunny beaches and great areas for watching the sunset or surfing and snorkeling areas. The area out here was the site of the first sugar plantation in Hawaii. Off the right wing you can see the sugar mill out there. This is the town of Kaloa. It was started by three Americans in the early 1800s and this was a support town for their sugar plantation. This past it is the White Ta Reservoir. The sugar cane fields needed a lot of water for irrigation so they built this reservoir. The stance today is one of the largest bodies of fresh water in the Hawaiian Islands. So you can see that's the tree tunnel there. See the reservoir on the right side and there's a tunnel of trees which is a eucalyptus grove over the highway. 
and all the trees that are nearby there were planted for as a reforestation project. access to this area back here. It's only seen from the air. I'm going to turn for you guys on the left side to get a look at it. Now we're leaving the valley and uh, going out to the west. And this is Waimea Canyon. Commonly referred to as the Grand Canyon of the Pacific. It's also 10 miles long and 3,600 feet deep. And it's a very popular recreation area. Some of the uses include the hunting for the wild pig and the goat. There's numerous hiking trails and camping. The word Waimea translates to red water or red river. The river in the middle of the canyon often has a very red color to it from the red dirt. You can see a bit of it here and you can see the lower canyon on the left side. The Waimea Canyon has been carved out by the rivers over millions of years. It shows the five million year history of this island. You can see the work that erosion has done to the canyon over the years. Massive amounts of rain we get on the island here have been carving away and eroding these cliffs. the end. This is Polahale State Park. And the spectacular Nepali Coast begins. You may also notice the island of Nihau in the distance. It's called the Forbidden Island. It has a community of about 200 Hawaiians that live there. The island is private property and outsiders are only allowed there by invitation only. This below us here is the longest beach in Hawaii. This is Barking Sands Beach. 17 miles of sand wraps around the west side. This is the end of the road on the west side. The cliffs here are nearly 2,000 feet high. This is Milali'i State Park. It was a small Hawaiian fishing village for hundreds of years. This area of the Nepali is only accessible from the sea. The beach and that valley you see was a, was a thriving community. On the right is the Nualolo Valley. This was an agricultural community of the early Hawaiians. The 
Nepali means the cliffs. This beach is Hanapu. It's one of the most pristine and beautiful beaches in all of the Hawaiian Islands. It too is only accessible from the sea. Hanapu has been in some Hollywood movies. Six Days, Seven Nights, and the original King Kong, name a few. These are called the Kalalau Cathedrals, and that's Kalalau Beach. It's the end of an 11 mile hike. You can see the spectacular Kalalau Valley on the right, approximately two miles in diameter. It was once home to 5,000 early Hawaiians. Make a turn here and we'll uh, just circle over this area and take another look. You can see the arch at Honapu on the right side, about 65 feet high and 200 feet wide. Below us here is the Hanakapiai Valley. A beach on the left, the two mile hike. On the right side you're gonna see a waterfall. You're gonna see Hanakapiai Falls. There's Hanakapiai Falls. Very popular day hike. It's a round trip, eight mile hike to that waterfall and back. This is KA Beach and the North Shore begins.
Hawaiians chose this place, Haena, as a community in 200 AD. This was one of the earliest settlements of the Hawaiian people, Haena. This is Tunnels Beach. Tunnels Beach on the right there. On the point here is really excellent snorkeling. There are underwater tunnels of the rock. Actually, let me circle here and give you a look at Hanalei Bay. The word Hanalei translates to crescent or half circle. It also means place where leis are made. You can distinctly see the shape of the bay as a half circle. Two miles of sandy beach and the most popular beach on the North Shore. And I hope that's all right with you. I know we just met, but I'll never let Here's Princeville. Princeville is a fairly recent uh, development. Beautiful cliffs and fantastic views. We'll go to the shoreline a bit. See some of the North Shore and the Kilauea Lighthouse. Below us is the stunning Anini Beach. It's one of the largest and widest reef structures in all of Hawaii. In the distance you can see the Kilauea Lighthouse. The island next to it, Moku Ai Ai Island, is the northernmost point in the main Hawaiian Islands. Turn here to the right. Stretched out below us is the green uh, verdant countryside of Kilauea. Numerous cattle ranches and small farms. You can see the majestic interior of the island. Mountains that rise to four to five thousand feet high. Massive valleys. Here's beautiful Nomorokama waterfall. Over two thousand feet long. Magically appears from the clouds. Now our journey takes us through the center of the island. Our route takes us through the Hanalei Wildlife Refuge. Our path here follows the Hanalei River into the geographic center of the island. This is the Halalea Forest Reserve. There's no roads through this area. It's an area that receives two to three hundred inches of annual rainfall. Hundreds of waterfalls are out here untouched by man. Deep in the heart of the island here, the cliffs stay green and lush year-round. The Twin Falls, a spectacular hidden gem back here. Spectacular waterfall that flows year-round. What an amazing day to fly. I don't know what this is. Is this love? Yeah. I don't know what this is. Is this love or I know with that? You're all think of me now. This is the Waiale Ale Crater. It's a massive extinct volcano that rises above 5,000 feet. At the top of this crater is the rainiest spot in the world with an average annual rainfall of 450 inches. Hundreds of waterfall in that crater alone. It is the rainiest spot in the world. There is a rain gauge up on the top there at 5,148 feet. Reserve here. This landscape has been used as Vietnam in many Hollywood movies. We're making our way back to Lihui, but first we'll fly over the Wailua River. The sacred Wailua River was home to thousands of early Hawaiians. It was the political and religious center for early Kauai. Off the left side you can see a waterfall. This is Wailua Falls. Wailua Falls is 170 feet high. It was featured in the TV show Fantasy Island. You can actually drive right to that waterfall. We're going to fly along the 
Wailua River here and out to the shoreline. Wailua means two rivers that come together as one. Along the Wailua River, there were many heiaus or temples and villages. It was home to the kahunas, the kings, and the priests of early Kauai. It is one of the most sacred places in all of Hawaii. This is the East Coast. You can see Wailua Golf Course and a beach we commonly call Kitchens. Looks like we got some surf out there today. Someone, a couple people out there off the golf course. We are beginning our descent for the Hui. Everyone on Victor, be in the Everyone on Victor, runway 3, clear to land. Runway 3, clear to land, one on Victor. Everyone on Victor, turn left to Delta Taxi Park. Left to Delta, one on Victor. I just want to say mahalo for flying with us. Flying 240, taxi runway 3, be Alpha. Hope you guys, hope you enjoyed the flight. <laughs>